Okay, we're going to have a look at the um, Attempto race control natural language reasoner. And let's just zoom in a little bit on this one. So we're going to add in some of our uh, own acronyms. So let's have all my and our mortal. Oh, there we are. And then let's have all women are mortal. And so let's have John as an instance. Is it? So woman. Okay, so we've got a number of facts here, and as you can see, they're all written uh, in natural language, so it's a control natural language element. So let's have a look, see if they're consistent by clicking on the consistency of the, acronym, uh, of the axioms. Oh, okay, that took longer than I was expecting. So, right, so all men are mortal, so he has a slight problem with, with Anne as a singular proper name, but it basically our axioms are consistent. So let's then actually start to um, ask it a question. So who is mortal? Now this is a really simple question as we can see. Um, your men are mortal or women are mortal so we'd expect John who is a man to be mortal and Anne who is a woman to be mortal but we're asking a reasoner to answer this for us. So let's send that off. So who is mortal? Well all women are mortal. Anne is a woman. So we found out that Anne is mortal and likewise for John, so we have found out that both Anne and John is mortal, are both mortal, just by answering the question in controlled natural language. And this is really that kind of power of inferencing in terms of having simple factual statements that can be understood by domain experts, but which can be reasoned over by a machine. And this is in many respects the point of first order logic and its representation uh, using controlled natural language.